Whose idea was it to watch this film? This was entirely my idea. Oh, good. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. I'm starting to... You're growing in me. <laughs> You're growing in me like a fungus. Like a plate fungus. Oh, is this because... You're one of, you're one of those funguses that looks like a penis. Oh, and God. called a, a, you... a cock sprocket or something. You know what? I'm going to take that as a compliment. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Welcome oh. back to... Film Guffs. Uh, and this week's this week's show, oh, nineteen eighty four, mate, the fucking eighties. Oh, that was os. Now I can't say the word os exploitation. It's very yeah. hard for me to say. Yeah, os exploitation. So they were like um, the Mad Max films. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of them, a lot of gory ones. But uh, it's not good for the Australian tourist board. No, I don't think they were really impressed with this too much. No, no, <laughs> they do not portray Australia in a fine light. No, it looks horrendous. It's like it's like a New Zealand propaganda movie against Australia. They're like, fuck those Australian bastards, check them, come here instead. That's it. And I have to say, if you talk to someone from New Zealand and uh-huh. they talk about an Australian's accent, it just grates with uh-huh. them. They can't stand it. And this film the, really uh, I, is these sort of accents all the way through. I've always seen Australians as like a cut-price American. Okay. I think it was described once as it's the it's the Texas of England. And I kind of yes, get I, that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a place that's changed a lot. It can mean in recent times. But they held on. Aussies were eating Christmas dinners, can turkeys and tatties and Christmas in the baking the baking heat yeah. in the fifties. Yeah. But I think they've given up. It's like it's like fusion food. It's embraced a lot of like its its neighbours, eastern neighbours, it's kinda it's it's like their wine. They're less they're less hangovers for some part of Britain. Yeah, they should, have, Britain. they should have no connection at all to anything no, British. If you live no, in Australia no. and you're looking back with some sort of nostalgia to this <laughs> fucking dump, you're in Australia. <laughs> they have a place called the Gold Coast. What do I we know. have? Och, Mithy. <laughs> oh, got, for, Jesus, we've got nothing. <laughs> No. Well, I have family, family that went across there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, all, the, all, most of them went to either Canada or Australia. That's right, yeah. That and was and like made, lives, made life for themselves and lived very differently. No, but this is a... I haven't seen this film for a hell of a long time. I'm talking 30 years since I've seen it. Yeah, I think... Did I, I think I might have seen this on VHS. In the uh, 80s. Yeah, 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 that was me. Um, my first experience Razorback. of this film. Razorback. We've not called it Razorback. It's oh, it's Razorback. Razorback. What my, a great title. My first experience of this film was being a kid and seeing yeah. the poster for it outside yeah. the Odeon Cinema in Dundee. Right. And it's the most okay. beautiful poster. It's an incredible poster. It's a beautiful cover. poster, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, oh, oh, razor, oh, Razorback. 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 Now, the director, yeah. he came from doing Duran Duran videos. Oh, uh-huh. wow, boys! So, well, boys, he done that. He done that video. Yeah, and well, you can you see can that. See the it. wild, wild boys, wild boys has kind of got a bit of the Mad Max about it. Hasn't very it? cinematic, very yeah. But it's got the worst human being in history. Human beings, Simon Le Bon. Oh, he's 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 oh, got a he's puffy face asshole. now. No, no, sorry, Simon Le Bon's not the worst one. Oh. Simon Le Bon's the worst human being, except right. Nick Nick Rhodes. Yes, the guy with the scarf. He had what an incredible cunt. mullet, though. Oh, I hate that cunt. I just hated. What? I hated them. I... Who liked? Who liked that band? Me. You did you like? You them? know what? Not as a kid. Bet you like. Bet you like Spandau Ballet as well. No, they're disgusting. But <laughs> I like. I like them now. Is that not weird? Yeah, look... Wild boys. Yeah. Wild boys. Oh, hey, yeah. I, I wrote down here Razorback Bacon. It's a fair enough. <laughs> You know what? I'm is a vegetarian, not... but if you got razorback yeah. bacon, oh. that would be. I'd feel more manly oh. eating that. God. Bits of hair on it. Oh, the, a tooth. This, it, it doesn't come in one of those lovely sealed packs. It just comes in a sack. Oh, with chunks. We hear it. 
Oh, that would be. See, I would get back into meat then. That would be. That oh, would be the way. The beginning of this is wonderful. The beginning the, is the, the most... cinematography. Yep. The lighting yep. and the, the soundtrack in this are a one. Right, I've put. Right, one of the mm-hmm. most cinematic films I've oh. ever seen. Every people going about Fury Road. They are going about yeah. Sicario. Oh, I love this Fury film. Road. This mm, film yeah. is exactly the same. Now, well, I think this film, I think there's bits of this film that heavily uh, influence Fury Road. Agreed. Because there's, bit, the, there's landscape bits with dead trees that oh, are in Fury Road. Incredible. It's a definite influence. It's the beginning, you've got the noise, the whirly gig, there's the dust, there's the ah. squeaking of the wire, there's the kangaroo. It's like I wrote an apocalyptic poor sign adventure. Oh, look at you. Mm-hmm. You should have got a degree a in English. Crow, there's a scarecrow in the wind. And then the Aussie, the Aussie comes over. And it's the like colour. the archetypal. Oh, orange. yeah. The colour, <gasps> saturation of the orange, the dust. Yeah. And then there's a bit in it. It's just all you hear is snort. He clicks the gun. Squeak of the wire. Snort. There's a no. flickering blue light. And then a bacon edo. Just come straight through the fucking head. <laughs> Spot. A baconado. Yes, a baconado comes tearing through the house. Now. Oh, it's marvellous, though, isn't it? My, what an opening. Uh, what an opening. But my my original job in history is uh-huh. in sound. And right. I will tell you, the timing uh-huh. and the sound uh-huh. design is in this good, film yeah, is, uh-huh. as you said, top notch. It's incredible. But when it's metal, it's, it's not just metal. It's rusty metal. Oh. It's unoiled metal. It's squeaky. It, I mean, it's, it's corrugated iron. It really captures oh. the... Yeah, it the, does. You know what? You said at the start, the uh-huh. the old Australia is going uh-huh. through this flux period in the early oh, 80s. Yeah. It's, it's skyscrapers it, now. It's getting its own feet. Mm-hmm. And the old Australia, the the immigrant Australia, the, the mass immigration yeah. from the UK... Is fading away. It's, oh, it's rusting. Yeah, it's it's yeah, aging. Yeah. And this is a great representation of it. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's the, the you get these things in Australia called land trains. Oh God, yeah, yeah. And the the the, the Razorbacks like a land train. It comes. It goes through the house like Superman. It's unbelievable. It's and glorious. They said that, I remember I'm watching a documentary about these land train guys, and the mile, the, there's no bends in the road. They'll put a bend in just so people don't fall asleep. Yeah, no, no I think to there's bends in the road to account for time zones. Right. Isn't fuck. that incredible? Or the curvature it, of the earth. They say there's all these kangaroo corpses and the, these buzzards come down and they eat and they, 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 they stuff themselves with, with rotten kangaroo flesh. Right. And they're so far, the land trains come along and they can't get out of the way. Oh my. So they, they get hit by the that... land trains and they have to go out and scrape off maggoty kangaroo flesh off the windscreen. Oh. It's, oh. But then, then he, the guy, he, I think his name's Bill Kerr. Right. He's a kind of old, a veteran Australian actor. He um, he he's out. He's, he's he, the ruination of his house. His grandson's done, and he's just scary. And then he's the screaming. the house is on fire. And I it's put like it down. Fucking, because he was putting his his uh, grandson to bed. And yeah, he's he was, an older he was tender. guy. He was tender, tender yeah. but a real tough Australian. But he's tender oh, with his grandson. Him. This pig tears through the house. Oh and yeah. You see in glimpses yeah. a bacon nado, as you put uh-huh. it. It should have yeah. been called bacon nado. <laughs> bacon nado. And he, yeah. the house is burning in the background, but it's out of focus. It's not the modern yeah, shot where it's all everything yeah. has to be sharp. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a a, a a photographer's done this. And he's on his knees and he screams, Scotty. Primal scream, yeah. But it's yeah. masculine pain. Uh, oh. I wrote, he, he has, he's, I'm not calling him Sean Connery. I'm calling him Sean Causery. Oz. Oh, Cos. I see what you've done there. Because he has a touch of the Connery about him. He doesn't does, he's got that sort of, yeah. That gruff. Gravitas. And then you, then you get the, the title of the film, Razorback. Oh. And it, it comes up. You know Oof. what? I was so impressed with the start at this. Yeah. I knew I was in for a good time. Oh, yeah. I thought, fuck. I actually sat up in my seat. I thought, yeah. this is this is a film fighting against the... It's a schlock movie, but it's the constraints. It's fighting against the constraints of it. And it's secretly made a very artful movie. 
It's taken this bare bones a, a schlocker and it's made something really it's quite beautiful. It's made something incredible. Yeah. So you're now in Gamula, which is a, it, it's Gamula. Aboriginal for intestines or guts. Yeah, not the greatest name. <laughs> no, it's got the sign, it's got the bullet holes in it. My hometown's got bullet holes in it, so the sign, so come in. Dude, the, we're um, doing this from Dundee right now. Everything. <laughs> that is, is part of the architecture now, the bullet holes in buildings. <laughs> The, uh, so there's this it, it feeds into that whole Australian thing Remember the lassie Whose be- who's kid was Taken away by the dingo The dingo, the dingo oh. took my bye bye Oh so look at, the, You're doing an accent so, so, I yeah, thought I'm we'd not, get through this do. Without an accent But it didn't no work No accents And he, he's in court Now they've not taken into consider Oh you've killed your baby If the, yeah. They can see the house has been Would there not be hoof prints There would be some Well There would be something the, It's a very shoddy court And I think the investigation Was probably a bit shoddy it's a sweaty court. It's he a goes, sweaty he court. goes a, pi- a pig, you say, a boar, a, a razor boar. bark. He's a professional kangaroo hunter. I am going to put forward the, the theory that this razor bark is a supernatural creature. Oh. And it, it's on, it's it's because there is, there's a dreamscape element to this. There's, Very much, like, Aboriginal yeah. myth. This is rotting a ro- terrible revenge because these people, are, are they're all kangaroo hunters. Oh, they're despoiling nature, nature and because that's why the did it back. leave? Yeah, because it it behaves in a kind of supernatural way. This fucking this thing, it this, does. This beast, yeah. You, you know what? So he's You're he's, he's like a dis- yeah, he's a disgrace. He's not been proven guilty or innocent. It's like non-proven. He's his reputation's in the gutter. People are spitting in him in the street. It isn't going well. The court is full of a lot of weird characters. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not good. It's like, but they're, they're like that. Could you not have just shot the pig with it, your high-powered rifle? And he goes, no, I didn't know this about pigs. The bristles are impervious to bullets. Whoa. And only, they're bulletproof pigs. And the, the only way you can shoot them is from underneath. It's a hybrid species, a freak, an aberration. You have to see it to believe it. Jeez, I was in. I was in. Four or five times bigger than anything you'd imagine. And like that, like, they're like, oh, how could a pig take off a baby? You're like, a normal pig could carry off a toddler. That's very true, and I'll tell so you something. So a pig five times bigger. You oh. are just describing mm-hmm. this film perfectly, but I'm getting excited again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh it was good. Well, there's a mate of mine, his dad, he was worked in a slaughterhouse in Perth. Okay. And they used to take in various animals to slaughter, as they do. But mm-hmm. the pigs, you had to be careful because they're clever. And one big boar, as they were taking it into the, the enclosure, it thought, fuck this, and it, it went on the run. Whoa. And it swam the river, and it went on a rampage. This must have been the 70s. It went on a rampage in Perth Golf Course. This this is so, a Scottish it was version of Razorback. Back. Yeah, Scottish version, yeah. And the, the police were like that, fuck. So they put a call out to the local hunting club. Okay. And they all went up like great white hunters. And they, 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 they hunted on the pit, the golf course and eventually shot it in a bunker. Oh. <laughs> this is it. The, do you think Razorback could have been based on this story? I think so. Okay. So Jake <laughs> is dis- discharged with... No. He's yeah, he's in a, he's, he's not, not, not proven. That's so it, he no. goes in a sulk and he goes and lives in a tin a tin wank cut. I'll say the tin wank cut is a lovely looking home. It's bigger on the inside than it looks like a tiny little shack. But later on, when they're inside it, they walk it's, around it's palatial. It a fair bit, yeah. <laughs> palatial. <laughs> Now we cut to New York, and I'm going to point out. Oh, you something. you hate that. You hate that two years. That they're I not in New York, are they? I d- they're, no, they're not in New York. This was filmed in Australia because I looked yeah. into the making of it. I was so impressed with this last night. Uh, uh-huh, I went uh-huh. straight to the making of it. Uh-huh. She's it so she's good. an Australian, isn't she? The woman. She's an Australian. Yeah, but he is he Canadian. The kind of the generic boyfriend. I'm not yeah. sure, but she's playing an American. She yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And they're in New York now. If you notice, she's feisty. She is feisty, and that's what's good. But if you notice right. in this uh, um, film, in mm-hmm. every single scene, there's either dust, smoke, or steam, and every yeah, yeah. single and that was a, a, a an artistic choice. That was well, the director. Very, yeah. Right, yeah, this yeah, was a, this was a concept. It. Yeah, yeah. Ridley Scott, he loves throwing steam in, into the mix. He loves yeah. creating that. He's it's a just, hack. Lay, 
it creates layers. It layers things. A terrible beautiful. director. They have a lovely, the lovely apartment in New York. They do with a, a, a non outside. It's just a you can't see anything outside because it's in a, a shed in Australia. Well, I saw they've got just this tiny little TV. Yeah. And I thought, I remember at the time thinking, t- tiny TVs are stupid. But everybody watches stuff in a tiny TV now, have you noticed? That's a Your good phone's point. Your phone's just a tiny TV. That's a good point, we've gone, yeah. We've gone around again. I, there's a lot of kind of ADR stuff with their accents. I thought, is that actually their voices? Yeah, I wasn't too sure either. I wasn't too sure. Yeah. yeah. So she, she, she is now a, she is now... She's an animal they're welfare dumb, reporter. Huge, well, I thought she was like a journal, just a straight out journalist. But he marries her. He gives her the ring. Yeah, they get married. They've kind of got a cutesy. It's a very kind of chaste relationship they've got. It's not. It's not. You very... know what? I think in the director thought, I don't want to be weighed down with kissy kissy bullshit. Yeah, let's just get to giant pigs. The minute I saw the, <laughs> the minute the minute I saw him handing mm. her the ring, I thought. They're going to find that ring in a, a pig shit later on. Well, and you know something? <laughs> he, hand, he he handed her a ring the same yeah. way I would propose. Well, I better give you this then. That's the way I would do it. <laughs> well, he, he is dramatic because she goes, she goes Argos, you would just use an old <laughs> ring pool at a can of Coke. He, he goes, he goes, she goes, well, you miss me. He's like, does a bear shit in the woods? Oh, smooth. <laughs> you smooth bastard. Oh, God, I'm finding you myself smooth. down here, eh? God, ah, I'm fucking hell. So um, she's she's a reporter and she's dealing with yeah. things like animal cruelty. Now, she wants to right. go to Australia to see but the she's the famous. Mass, she's, she's really well famous. For it. She's a really... Mass yeah, killings really of famous. kangaroos. And she wants to 800, see 800,000. Oh, my God, that's terrible. I knew an Australian and girl. And she said yeah. she lived in, uh, her dad was an orchard deer, I think the name is. And okay. I w- and when I think of an orchard, do you think of maybe 30 trees? I oh, think no. it was like 6,000 acres they were on. Jesus, and, oh, the economy scale, fucking hell. And for her to drive home from college was so far, it was easier just to get a house in the city. It was oh, just so God. far away. And she was saying when they were driving home, you know, you could uh-huh. basically almost fall asleep on the road and just bump, 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 hitting kangaroos all the time. You, that's all you did oh. was just run them over. They're just, yeah, they're, they're, they're everywhere. Australia's a strange place, isn't it? The animals are very odd. Pouches. Marsupials are a strange. A marsupial skull is the weirdest looking thing. They're on you. Would you stop collecting skulls? It's worrying everyone. Yeah, I can yeah, tell you I've right got, now. I've got, I've got, yeah, you can cut. My you, listeners yeah, I'll, have I'll brought take it some photographs. I've got a porcupine skull. I actually own a gorilla skull. Mm. Yeah. Where the hell did you a get lowland, that? A, a lowland gorilla skull. Hey, I bought I bought it years ago in a, a an auction in Dundee or just like shit out of people's houses. It was in a box. It was in a box or so other bits and bobs. Are you like sure some... it's a gorilla skull and not someone from Fren- Finray or... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh. Come to think of it. No, it's you a gorilla skull. You tell the difference. Yeah, it's a gorilla skull. I don't. I wouldn't have been able to obviously sell. I've no wish to sell it. It's in my cabinet of curiosity. Oh, the I, um. I don't want to there's know a about kind, it. The, yeah, there's that. The, the kind of fast cut. There's the crow, and there's a weird like the church. Back to uh, Australia, you are now. Back to Australia. Yeah. It's it's, and then you go into the Aussie bar. Which is this kind of staple of, it's like in, in Crocodile Dundee. Same thing. It's, it looks exactly, exactly the same. The same. And, and it's, probably the, it's all they do warm exist beer. Like that. Yeah. It's all guys with like very red forearms. They're called, I think the Australian term for it is not bogans. Is it a bogan? Uh, is that a negative a bogans, term? Is that like an insult? A, yeah. A bogan's like a, yeah, it's a kind of like Aussie redneck. And uh, you see, as much as Crocodile Dundee was beloved, it's a weird film, but uh, Australians really kind of hated it because it was that bogan. It portrayed Australian as bogan. They didn't like it. Okay, in Australia, That's like, even uh, it, it, yeah. Crouching Tiger, when it came out 20 years ago, China didn't like it because they're like, we're a modern place. We don't want yeah. old-fashioned stuff. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it's, but they're kind of, the, you think, it's one of these bars you go into and everybody stops what they're doing and you're initially thinking, oh, they're all just rapists. No, only two of them are kind of rapey guys. The rest of them are actually, as the film goes on, they're quite helpful people. They're yeah, quite generous. Yeah, they're just salt of the earth yeah. kind, you know. Yeah. But there's a lot of pubs they, in Dundee like that where you walk in you, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, stop yeah, yeah. and look at you. It's it's a very strange experience to be in. But she's in there, she's quite ballsy. She's like, can I speak to some kangaroo shooters? 
Yeah, she just goes straight and, in. And like everybody's like, what? kind of looking at her. But she's 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 willing to just go for it. She's 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 no fear. She's a fearless woman. And she hears about this pet park a animal and she she does a piece to camera saying all these kangaroos, they end up as dog excreta on the streets of New York. Oh so she, I think she's got a story. She's been walking down the street in her high heels. She's That's stood it. in a dog shit. It's uh-huh. got all over her tights. She's like, fuck. A she's taken that past. to be analyzed. Yep. Taking it to be a camel <laughs> She's had the, the shit analysed. They've said, there's kangaroo meat in that dog shit that spoiled your tights. She's like, ah, fuck. And that's what's taken her to Australia. Oh, uh, you've really thought into the, the history of this character. You first meet, she's introduced to a, but what's his name? What's Bill Kerr's name in this? Um, Fra- uh, uh, oh, uh, husband. Uh, Jake, is it no, Jake? No, not husband, Jake. He's Jake. he's Jake in this, and sorry. He's sit he's sat in the car, he's he's util- a ute, a utility now, this, vehicle this car, with the hooks and the jangly knives. It's a it, but do you have you noticed you talked about the pet park refinery, yeah. kangaroo yeah. refinery. But the yeah. whole town is essentially a slaughterhouse. Every and car's you know, got I hooks on used, it and oh. Yeah, hooks. I think they used a lot of real meat in this, do you? It was all real meat. Because kangaroo there's just vermin, isn't it? So you can it's just yeah, yeah, you can just get it. But and, he has ugh. sat Jake sat in his vehicle with the lassie out of Mad Max too. That's right. She's just sitting there minding her own just business. Sat in there. Very clean looking girl. You're like, what's what's the relationship here? Strange. Yes, what's going on? It, the, the, she's like um he's an un he's an unreconstructed man. Oh yeah, that's the a right. good way of putting it. Isn't yeah. the season for razor backs, girdly? So he's on this like Captain Ahab. Revenge mission. He's going after. He, he's, he's looking. He's killing every pig he sees. Every can... razorback until he gets to the the giant gets, pig. But no one's the, the, ever the, seen it. Yeah. Did it happen? And nobody's seen it. Yeah. Nobody's seen it. There's there's a bit. She's on the phone. The guys try to freak her out with the, the darts. Throwing darts she puts the her darts head. In, she puts the darts in his pint. He's a dickhead. You see a, ca- you see a camel drinking a can of beer. Yeah. Is that the same camel from Conan the Barbarian? Do you, the one I've, he punches. I'm. I'm not gonna like go out on a limb here, but I'm pretty sure there's more than one camel in the world. <laughs> is there? It's, um, I think so. Not an because expert. camel. Th- there's a lot of there's a lot. Is this film making a point about invasive species? Because the camels were brought to Australia. Yes. But they are now a pest species. The razorbacks have been brought brought to Australia, and they're a pest species. Didn't see a single rabbit. Yeah. So no, n- nature's cat. nature. Yeah, nature's been nature's been kind of spun in its head a little bit. I hear they've been trying to get rid of cats in Australia by getting them from helicopters. I don't know if they're bombing them or dropping bricks or something, but yeah, they're trying to get rid of cats. I saw a guy who's an actual professional cat hunter, and he he goes about with a hat on, Davy Crockett hat, that's just a cat. (laughs) (laughs) I love cats, and that's terrible, but... Well, it's oh no, but cats in the wild, cats in the wild, feral cats are terrible. Terrible. Yeah. At this point in the film, before mm-hmm. we go into cats, we need to get back to the film. Oh, good because idea. because she's walking around the town, and at this point, Australia looks fucking awful. So I get why the Australian tourist board goes. We don't like these films. Well, it this looks, is the interior of Australia. It and looks it, like it's, the it's, end of the world. It's rough. It's rough, isn't it? It's is this a kind of the only industry seems to be is it opal mining and kangaroo. Pelts. That's about it. And murderers. Jesus. There's serial murderers. killers. <laughs> that's about it. But the although it is desolate, uh-huh. the scenery is astounding. It's, it's beautiful. It's the, it's the dust. It's the redness. Oh, just wonderful. It, it's isn't it? It's beautiful. We don't have the, anything y- like that here. No. So she she gets in her car and she sneaks up to Pet Park. Yeah, she wants and to know what's going on there. She's wanting to see what, and it's like a scene out of like Dante's Inferno. The 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 factory's glorious. It's belching steam, and she goes in, and it's like it's like hellish. Yeah, he's like a, chopping away with a big. There just seems to be these two inbreds. These two Do they inbred own the brothers. Factory? I think they just work there. I think that's right, what, okay. they just work there, and they just keep it ticking over. That's what oh, it seems to be. God, it's there's no health and safety. No. This film got slated for bad acting, but I don't who, think so. By who? Now, this is this is the critics back in. I was reading about it, and I'm I'm going to say it's incorrect because no, it's incorrect. The two brothers are great. They're this horrible. is a style that came out yeah. of Australia, 
And I think yeah. this is a style that should be celebrated now. You no, know, the acting in this isn't bad. I think the, the, the one's great. The, the, the boyfriend's about wooden. Yeah, he's wooden. Um, but the two villainous guys are great. They're wonderful. They hammer yeah. up. They're straight out of Mad Max. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're apocalyptic, this. If the world had gone to shit, it wouldn't be any better than this. But when you look at things like Mad Max in this film, if uh-huh. you lived in a rusting hulk of a once yeah. burgeoning, yeah. you know, alive Old town, Paul town yeah. it seems like the end of the world. You're actually experiencing the apocalypse. There's no there's no infrastructure. No. And it's like where do you go? What do you yeah, do? Yeah, no. No, no. It's mm-hmm. it's it's a, it's a, almost a a weird survival that you have to mm-hmm. do in a modern world. And that that is the apocalypse. So I think these films are just representing maybe in obviously a more colorful fashion of what was going on at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yep. It's yeah, no, there's places like that, it's Detroit in America. Yeah, exactly. The infrastructure the goes and it just yeah. becomes a ruin and people live amongst the ruination of their society. It happens. Flint, Michigan, um, the, same yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly, yep. exactly. But she um, she films them and they're on tour and she's ballsy. She gets away and she thinks she's she's in the wind and safe. Hey, she's not. No. no. Now, is their intention, I don't think they're intending to kill her. They'll just get raped rape her. They're just going to rape. Now, and this, that scene, that scene, I found quite unpleasant. It's incredibly un- unpleasant, and this is uh, this yeah. is what I wrote. It was a, it's vile to watch, but also uh, beautifully done. It yeah, really he's, is. He's, he's just just the banality of well, evil. They're just when they run her off the road. There's a scene mm-hmm. where she's. You think they're driving away, and the lights are in Boca. They're out of focus yeah. of yeah. their truck, mm-hmm. but then you see them getting bigger and bigger, and you realise they're coming back. That's proper filmmaking. That's scary, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, I love that scene. But his, his, kind of, his kind of horrible dialogues are unpleasant. He, how's your French kissing? He, the, do you, he goes to do you want to make love? Oh yeah. god, it's just deeply unpleasant. It's really there's unpleasant. The kind of, there's a pig noises in the bar. There's a bit where he turns around his brother and his eyes are glowing. Yes. What's oh, that? They're glowing like good? an animal. It's like when they're, I don't know if you've been out la- shooting animals at night and lamp, lamp lighting yeah, them, yeah. but you go out and the, the, the torch, it glows in the backs of their eyes when you're shooting stuff. That's what happens to him. He's, his eyes are like an animal's eyes. It's Absolutely very, stunning yeah. moment. Yeah, a stunning hey, moment. The, the Razorback appears. She, she's put up a fight with the guy. She gets into the car. And it's just there. There's a scene where you, you just see it, and what a thing it is! And this is a, wrote, this is a great right. moment. Carry on, carry on. I said that is a sizable piglet. <laughs> it's big. I stopped it's... speaking to let you say that was a sizable piglet. It wasn't <laughs> worth the wait. Oh my god! <laughs> but it's just this mouth, fucking but tusks and it, teeth, oh, and, and, wet, oh, and it attacks. It's her. an ex- oh gone. The star of the film that you're following is Aye. gone. Yeah. Oh, Death. what this is great. This is this this is a a B movie, and you don't know what yeah. way it's going to go. There's it's not yeah. as predictable as you. Now there's a lot of predictable no, no. things in this, and there's tropes and blah blah blah. But there's a lot of moments in this where they really sat back and thought, "Let's write this. Let's create something for the audience." Well, there, there, there is. Well, there's a there's a murder case up in my neck of the woods where the, the woman went missing. They've never found her, uh-huh. and the theory is that she was fed to pigs. Mm. Because one of the kind of protagonists in the thing, one That's of the right. friends, the, the, the husband's in jail and they're, they're suspected they dismembered her and fed her. Because pigs will just eat, pigs will eat bone, they'll eat absolutely eat everything. everything. It's mon- just, it's not like a tiger or something eh, eh, being yeah, attacked and killed by a tiger. That, no, no. But just being eaten by a, because a pig would eat you alive. Oh, yeah. It's not going to dispatch you and then eat you. It's just the, the eating is going to be the killing of you. It's, oh, again, a tiger at least would suffocate you. I tied this scene oh. up with a bow by saying she had a terrible night. She didn't have a good night, but the bit where she dies and you just see her hand gently slide down the door. Just, oh. And she's just dead. So it's kind of, it's it's not an overly gory film, this. No, it's not. Um, even though there's a lot of blood. Yeah. It, you know what? I think they've done something very clever there. Mm. When you think of the factory, you described it you know, like a, a vision of Dante, but yeah. 
when it actually comes to people being attacked and that, like you say, not yeah. a lot of blood, but your head is full of this flesh yeah. and blood. So you will yeah. remember this as an incredible gory film, but it's really not. No, 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 no. But it's a good like, trick. Best, yeah, it's it's just the the set design. It's just everything's layered. Oh, it's and there's layers of blood really and rust. Good. And yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood it, and it's, rust. It's, it's a very textural film. It's oh, beautifully very, textural. very. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you really the, feel um, a part of it. And then we we'll cut to the next the, day. And the guy, the Jake, he's like he, he knows he knows. And the, 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 there's a there's a lack of blood in the car itself. They think she's had a car accident. And then she's wandered and fallen now, down a mine shaft. A car accident. Did you see the side of the car? Yeah, it was ripped asunder. It's like a. So this thing's like a rhinoceros. It looked like an arsehole after diarrhea. That oh, car was what? pulled apart. It's split asunder. It's pulled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's um, he sees. He, yeah, he's all oh, fucked. He's like it's he, back. he thinks he thinks he's back. It's back. Oh, it's back. Brilliant. It's back. Then you cut the fiance arrives by bus. It looked like a the terrible bus man. ride. Yeah, the yeah, handsome. It's been a long, a long journey. Now I think his name's yeah. Carl, but it's only said a couple of times in the film. Oh, who cares? His so name, I just call just... him husband, the hubby. Uh, husband. Well, I didn't realise they'd married. I thought they were fiancés, but they're fiancés. actually married. They got, oh, they got married. Uh, he, he. It's a the street, big car. He meets the 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 pub landlord. Who's got a naval hat? I like that. He's as far from the sea as you can possibly get. Yeah. Ex Navy man. He he maybe had seasickness. He's like, I'm not going on that boat ever again in my that life. Would put you off. And he, he he says, Take the car, just have the car. Hey, I'll I'll look after your luggage. Hey, it's all it's all fine. You it's think fine. things like that don't happen. No. But yeah. when I was living in Kansas, loads of people mm-hmm. would just say, Oh, take my car, bring it back tomorrow. They were really like that. There was lots of lovely but people. Pe- people. People who are living on the edges of places, they have to rely on other people's generosity to get by. So people are by the... People, it's people with the least are the most generous. I was in a very poor area and people would just yeah. say, take the car, there's the keys, go on. And it yeah. was amazing. Yeah, so it does well, happen. Then, there's areas, it's like, it's areas like some of the places... It's like a, they'll just be communal cars. Everybody's cars just sitting about. You just hop in a car. Oh, you know what I mean? We used to have them around the, here. Yeah. And they would just oh. sit in the street and you would just take it and drive it. And I was driving at 11. And you would just drive oh. around Charleston. <laughs> he, uh, so he goes to meet Jake. Okay. He's, 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 he's getting investigate what happened to his beloved wife. And Jake's in his one cut. It must smell in there. Because there's no air conditioning. And he's got like a rocking ho- horse sat there. Has that been saved from the fire, do you think? I think that's that been just... saved from the fire. Oh, and it's there he's, to gently he's... rock in the wind to torture him. The w- the world has shunned, shunned him, but he's just got dogs. Because dogs accept you. They you don't see, mind I you. think Jake, uh, the, he's not only um, on a mission, not only mm-hmm. Ahab, he's mm-hmm. also doing this to torture himself for the guilt of what happened. Oh, he's, he's, oh yeah, poor guy. Yeah, so this is what he's doing. Guy. He's torturing himself. This is his he punishment. Ca- he, he calls a guy's wife kangaroo woman. Yeah, the kangaroo <laughs> woman. So, oh. Tasteful. But then he goes on to some more science facts for our listeners about Razorbacks. Oh yes. The Razorback doesn't have a nervous system like most most animals. It doesn't have a nervous a pig doesn't have a nervous system. It only has two states of being dangerous, dangerous or, or dead. dead. Nothing, Nothing in, in between. between. That's what I wrote down as well. <laughs> Jeez, it's like a fucking <laughs> velociraptor. It's the scariest now, thing ever. But I'm led to believe that pigs a fetal pig and yeah. a baby human are very similar. If you see the stages of development, that's or quite, right. Yeah. A, a, you know how long a gestation period of a pig is? I have no idea. Three months, three weeks, and three days. Ooh. And a pig will orgasm for three hours. That's like you. That's like me. I'm orgasming now. Oh. It's just a continuous drip, drip. Oh. Like a like a, uh, an entire um, Labrador with that green shit yeah. that drips out them. Cause, oh, because I'm just I'm just I'm just continuously making love to the world. Oh, I started something I, I shouldn't have. He goes kangaroo woman. It makes it makes it makes it sound like she's got a goddamn pouch. Not a great line I felt. I wrote that down as well and went not a good line to follow up what uh, Jake uh, just said. No, <laughs> didn't like it. Uh, he, the the. Uh, he, then, then he just goes to meet the brothers, 
and I don't know how he's inveigled his way into them because he, he's wanting to get to the truth here, but he, he doesn't say that he's the husband of the woman. He just says he's a what a, a, a possible investor of opals or something. Yeah, and I think they just... I don't think that really clicks with them. I think they just say, here's someone new, let's Here's somebody new to play with, to, to, to play torment with. a little exactly, bit. Exactly, yeah. One of them, I notice, has got white shoes on. Bad idea for a slaughterhouse. That's true. He, there's no health and safety, and oh. he meets one of the characters when he's just... He's just He's just hosing out a tube full of shit oh, and guts. Oh, it's just guts and everything now. No health and safety. Do no, you none. think this is a shared universe? Now, hear me out on this. Okay, no, no. Shared universe with Runaway. Mm-hmm. There's no robots. There's no. They're at the end of the old world. They're not part <sighs> of the new world. Oh, the new yeah. world's left them behind and there's chaos. Oh, they're, they're... Imagine a robot would have sorted out that pet plot. It would all be robotic. Exa- exactly. This they're is... just like they're like Amazon workers, just just killing time to the robots take over. This is it. You're they're right. You're right. No, world. you're right. And you're this right. Is, this film's been made at a time of a crossover. Oh. And at the right. crossover, there's got to be a place that's already crossed over. There's those mm-hmm. that are uh, in the transition, and there's those mm-hmm. that will never leave the old oh. world. And these people, you've got nature. And you've got the modern, and the moderns failed. They're uh-huh. they're they're they've been left behind, man. Jesus Christ! Because there's that bit in Mad Max where the he they're all fighting over a tin of dog food. Uh huh. Is that a pet pack tin of got dog food? <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, that's a shared universe. Do you know what? Ah. I think I've got a new theory. All mm-hmm. films are in the same universe. It doesn't matter oh, what yeah, they are. The, <laughs> he, the, the, the Madder Brothers, what's he called? Giggler or something. Oh, he's all, yeah, he, he's he giggles. Great. But they take him to this sub... They're living in a subterranean lair. It looks like the lair in The Lost Boys. Oh, it's got three. It's got a three-legged dog, stuff hanging up, stuffed animals. It's scary. Oh, Beautiful. It, but they thought about uh, this, making this film. They went, we need these guys. Where do they live? These guys mm-hmm. will not live in a normal... You know, their mum didn't look after them. They don't know how to wash a no, place down. No, feral. They're, they're, they're like the feral. Kid, they're like the wee kid out of Mad Max with the boomerang. Feral, yes. feral child. Or whatever now, he's called. I've put a note here about this. Uh-huh. They're like the pigs. They don't belong there. No, right, okay. Yeah. They're feral, they're wild, they're inbred. Everything about them is wrong. They're a human oh. version of the pig. But it cuts, it then cuts to a bit. It's like Jeff Capes is sat, sat watching TV and he's giggling away at the telly and you see a close-up a pair of kangaroo balls. Yeah, there's um, always kangaroo balls. <laughs> always kangaroo balls. Then it cuts back. They're going on about, so they feed him a sausage and yeah, he eats a barbecued like, sausage. A sausage. Now, I think they've laced the sausage with LSD. Ah, uh. Yes, it and seems. I don't think it's simple here. food. I don't think it's just seem. It's, it's a kind of the. It's like a dream, a dream wanderer. Yes, but, He's going walk about. What's it? A, a dream cast or a dream? Oh yeah, something, something right? like that. Now, an, the ab- reason, an Aboriginal. I mm-hmm. agree with you with the sausage bit because he sniffs mm-hmm. the sausage and it doesn't smell right, but he no. takes a bite anyway. Ah, uh, and things right? go peculiar, and oh. things go strange, and this is when it goes full Duran Duran video. They're actually listening oh. to Duran Duran at that point. He, but they, they go to him. The thing that I used to do for me is he's like, "There's not many people about here." He says to them, "They go, oh no, there's a tourist coach once a week. A, t- a, a tourist. tourist coach. Ah, this is what the tourists will do. They'll come to observe the old world. This is, oh. you know, it's like in America, you can go Maybe, to old uh, mining towns. Oh, what, what, you, what, you, what, like in the the kind of nineteen fifties town that's in the what's it? Uh, bah, 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 Universal Soldier. Exactly. This is what oh. you go and see in old town, and you can visit. He's as, he's as mad man. as a, he's as mad as a meat axe. He says he's as mad as a meat axe. You know your <laughs> trouble. You ask too many bloody questions. Yeah, they're getting a little suspicious. He goes, "You, there's a little bit like the three. There's a bit. He has a lovely interaction with a three-legged dog where he like snarls at a dog. Yeah, and then he goes, "You hold it there. What's a donk?" He says, "You hold it there while I cut the donks." That's it. It's it's what's a donk? It's a donk. I don't know. Then you go. You enter this dream world. They go hunting, and they leave him behind. There's a car up on, a tree. Yeah. There's a car up a tree. Very it's like, Fury Road. 
There's yeah, it's it, I wrote it's a modern day Bruegel painting. Oh, look at you! Did and you go to our it, college? It, yeah, but the, you, the, 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 they say we we'll get mes- it's mesmerism because they're mesmerizing the the kangaroos with the torchlight and then shooting them. But he's been mesmerized by a sausage. <laughs> but then That's he says true. he's a Cana- he's a huntsman. Canadian huntsman, but they shoot it and then he gets all funny about it and he's like spewing. He goes, you're a pretty tough hombre, aren't you? And they are disgusted with him. They think he's he's pathetic. He's weak, and he goes, but... we'll be back in five to six hours. Don't go on a walkabout. And what does he do? He just, he, he just, he wanders. He's just, he goes and, into and the desert. Trippy. Yeah, don't, don't. He has a, he, he gets to such a stage, he does a bit of a kind of junior tauntaun. Like Luke Skywalker, he 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 cuddles up next to a dead kangaroo That's for warmth. Right. Now, did you see the dead horse in this bit where it comes out the ground and it's all trippy and that? Oh yeah, they it's just like found a, that when yeah. they were on the, when they were filming. They went, "Let's use it," and that was just found. It, it's like a Jabberwocky. Yes, but he has this weird bit where he's having a dream and he dreams they've come back and they go, "Wakey, wakey!" He hands on Snakey. And the guy's got a sausage for a nose. It's like a, it's like a plague doctor's mask with a sausage for a nose. But that's the sausage that leads to this uh, trip. They're fucking yeah. with them. They were probably going There's to have their way trees. with them. It's like a, it's like a, a scorched earth. It's 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 fantastic. But he the, he's starting to get chased by the pigs. Oh, now before like the, hun- just one second oh. before this, I've got a little note. Yeah, he runs past two moons. Oh right, there's two moons now. Do you want to oh, know wow. why there's two moons? They spent it. all day making a moonlight so it'd be out of focus. So they'd have this moon, and the, and it was used several ah. times in the film. But then they didn't realise when the moon rose at night, it would actually be in shot. So accidentally, oh. there's two moons, and but it's in oh, but a that, dream sequence. It's that, fine. That just adds. That adds to it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely he gets fine. A, he he gets up the windmill like the guy at Tremors. That's right. The razor backs and are all around the bottom. He, he he's he's awakened to a pig world. I wrote less tremors, more trotters. Oh, that trotters! That could have been and the film's name. Trotters. Then they knock him off. They they push down the windmill, uh-huh. and he's like that. Pigs can't swim. Pigs can fucking swim. They can swim. Pigs are good swimmers. But maybe razorbacks can't. Cause and he's a bit like monkey you, in the head. You, you can't get me. You can't get me. He's had a full mental collapse. But the actor. In mm-hmm. this part, he insisted on doing all his own stunts, and when he was oh, pushed he? into oh, the water at this point off the windmill, he was quite seriously injured. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, but the next scene's extraordinary. He's on this kind of salt flats, and there's a big painted crack in yeah, the salt because he's and still tripping. Like, yeah, the, it's like um, David Lean did that in Lawrence Arabia. He is a scene where. A Omar Sharif appears on a camel. Yes. And David Lean had them paint the desert. So there was like this big crack. No, it is. It's very it's very rock video, you're right. But it's it's very effective. It's really, really and effective. And all the flares now, firing. It's just right. for nothing. It's just for the visuals. Incredible. Yeah, and it's like the horse things buffed that comes out the yeah, it's like a it's like a horrible aborted death skeleton. Just yeah, if the that nature's hideous person. Yeah. Uh, Simon mm-hmm. Le Bon suddenly appeared. You wouldn't have been surprised. No, no, no. It was. It was. Then very... we have a. She. She. He shows up. He. She shows up. He shows up at a. He, he stumbles upon a. What did a, a station? A house. A Is house. A station yeah. To speak about. And the last says having a shower. Oh, maybe. he's still got a lot of energy. But he goes up to her. He sees her tits, and he just collapses. He faints. At the We've side all done of it. We've all done that. And then we'll have this jump, a kind of jump scare when he wakes up and she turns around and she's got a pig for her face. Pig face. Now, <laughs> I know it's an old film, but I, yeah. I put a note there. I'm not afraid to admit I shot it. I jumped mm. at that. I really got a fright. It's a good one. It's like the, I like waking from a dream into a dream. It's like the American Werewolf in London thing. That moment, it's a really, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very good. Um, she's a dead nice, she's a dead nice woman. And she's like, she's a wee bit like the last out of Tremors as well. She's a scientist. Yeah. She's tracking, she's tracking the pig. She's trying to get, get a handle on what's going on. Everything's a wee bit skew if. And they keep they keep the lie. Oh, oh, your wife. Oh, she fell down a mine shaft, didn't you? 
yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah she did. But he says something the pigs would eat him, but something scared them away, and he got a glimpse of it because it's quite. For a big animal, it's quite secretive. The yeah, razor back, yeah, and, and as so, big as a rhino. And she goes, uh, "Just, just wait there. I need to make a phone call." Mm-hmm. So she phones Jake. Jake, Jake comes over. Right. What did you fucking uh-huh. see, you dickhead? He's yeah, wanting to yeah. know about it. You know, uh-huh. oh. they put a transmitter on the pig. It's very much like Jaws, isn't it? It's very this like is... Jaws in that. And she yeah. has radar in her front room, which is pretty cool. I'd love that. Yeah. It, he's. It's basically. She goes. He's in a private war against pigs. I am as well. I've taken a lot because I've eaten bacon. How many? How much bacon? How many pigs have I eaten in oh my God life? Almighty. Forty years. Can you imagine? Oh, chops and lots uh, and lots. Yeah, it's, it's took his grandson, his daughter, his pride. The boar destroyed his life. Oh, that was a good. But line. he's excited. He's full of them. It's just, it's just hatred's keeping him going. But he's saying that he's still beautiful. He's still really nice and tender to that lassie. He's kind of taking her under his wing. He's, she's like a granddaughter to yeah, him. Yeah, he's still a caring guy, even though he's bitter and he's broken. He's still a normal guy. You know? I wrote, so, he's not. This is, he's uh-huh. not Captain Ahab. He's Captain Hamgrab. Oh, you're you're stretching, dude. You're stretching. No, no. No, I'm not going to have that one. Now, we cut back to the guy that you talked about earlier. Oh, like Jeff this Capes. is beautiful. Now, this is beautiful. He, he, something ran through his shed earlier, so he puts out a chain with some bait on it to say, what, uh, can, yeah. what could this be? <laughs> that, uh, and he's sitting watching TV, and a quarter of his house gets ripped away. With the TV. With the TV still, still running. Good. Now, the TV wouldn't work like that, but... What a shot. And just the TV... Oh, that's pure Jaws, isn't it? Pure The, the yeah. TV, it doesn't stay in focus. It goes out of focus. Oh, so and then, it, oh it's a wonderful <laughs> shot. There's it's a little good. shot and it's a wombat sat in a, in a dick chair. As it happens. It's Australia. That's what Cubular like. shits. Cubular shits. Uh, uh, there's a bit... They're, they're, they're tagging the little piglet they've captured. Pigs, piglets make a lot of noise when you pick them up, don't they? I don't, I've never picked up one. Yeah, I've picked up a piglet. But the, there's a bit where he she gets him some fresh clothes and there's a strange bit where she goes, God, you look good in my dad's trousers. Now, see, that line, <laughs> again, There's this this film had some great lines and it had some uh, stinkers and that was <laughs> that was an awkward what one. What are you saying? Because what are you saying? she's just went, oh. this guy, you know, he's just <sighs> lost his wife, so oh, maybe I could huh? give him my dad's clothes and uh, have a new oh. boyfriend. Need a new a daddy, she's what? The... Um, but she goes, she kind of explains the boars are eating them out of horse and ho- house and home, they're cannibalizing their young, they're diseased and parasitic, oh. they're, they're, they're stressed. These, the boat, the, the, the pigs have got a uh, ulcer, got an ulcer, they're so nervous because this big pig, this them? razor, but <laughs> no, they cut. do that thing as well, yeah, to Jake. And he's 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 on this like open mind waiting for them to the water hole, and it does that jaws cut. Yeah. And when the camera zooms it in, zooms in, and it does, yeah. And it, it makes you feel a bit. It's a it's effective that it kind of gives you a wee bit of like a, 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 a ooh, yeah. It makes it's your a, head a, swim a little bit. It's a great yeah. sense of you've really he, in his head yeah. at that point. Yeah. So he's looking, looking through about, binoculars. But the pig's hiding behind a water trough. Now, do you know why it was doing that? Because they made a, a animatronic pigs for it, but they weren't happy with them, even though they actually are great. And they're only in a few shots, and that's yeah. one of them. And they hid it behind a water trough because they weren't happy with it. Well, less less is more, man. Less is more, and I think it worked out better for it. I think it did. Yeah. He goes, Jesus wept. It's a big fucking pig. It's a monster. He goes, he starts speaking to the dog. He goes, Team Spider, a pig fella. He's, his favourite dog. He's going to sort them out. He unleashes the hounds. And the hounds attack they, the wrong pigs. They just start biting yeah, the ears of smaller go, pigs. Well, that's, that's what happens. He, the, the, the actual razor bat is not very mobile. No. It, it, it stands still a lot. But that's okay. He, he does a brilliant bit where he goes, You bastard! And he just starts bang, He starts shooting away. No, not nothing. It's not no, doing yeah, anything. It's just bouncing but off. But he's it. managed. He's managed to take a plaster cast of his trotter print. He's got <sighs> evidence. Yeah. And he finds, as I suspected, the wedding the ring wedding in the barrel of shite. Yeah. So he oh. cleans it off in his mouth. He, he gives it. A shot. <laughs> he gives it back to the guy and goes, "Sorry, fella. That's sorry about that." Oh. Uh, and then he says, <laughs> "She was also six weeks pregnant." 
So oh, the oh, pig had oh, lunch that. and pudding. Oh. oh. Oh, that's monstrous. I missed him. He, oh, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> that's the, um, <laughs> so she's sick. She, she maybe shouldn't have went to like a place that's probably riddled with like big giant mud flies and giant razorback pigs. And, not the safest. And corpses. But no, you know maybe not. Like. He, he, it's all about the electrical gizmo. And they've got him. They've, they've found that he knows he's tracking the fucker down. Mm-hmm. And they get go and get, she's like, Sarah's like that. We need to get some help. No. But he's, the Psycho he's Brothers, he's mine. The Psycho mm-hmm. Brothers here on the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Jake thinks he knows what happens to the reporter women. Now, yeah. there's obviously it's the pig got her. Oh. But the the brothers go, oh, shit, we did that. Shit. Yeah, we did. Oh that. God, they so they're getting nervous. Thing, yeah. Oh. But he, she's like, he's the 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 Canadian. The husband's like. He knows the truth now. He's just getting the fuck off. But she's like that. You can stay. No, you can stay no. all you want. But he's not interested in the slightest. His wife's been she's there's not she's been clearly eaten by a pig. Yeah. And it's, I think his duties I think his duties done. It's there's, done. There's nowhere Kim, to go with she's this. No, she's she's no coming back. That's it. Now, Jake, sleeping, still waiting on the pig, and he gets mm-hmm. woke up by the psycho brothers. Oh no. And they fucking axe his legs so he can't walk. So the pigs will get him. Yeah, he's it's terrible. <laughs> But the older brother, like, he doesn't really he want doesn't a part want to of kill, it, but, yeah. but he's not really, it's all got, uh, he, it's all he, got says, a hand. he says, he, he goes, you never want to do anything fun, you know, oh, and God. he says, uh, he'll feel it soon enough, uh, not if he doesn't wake up before the Razorback eats him. Oh, Jesus, that, it was an awful scene. So It's awful, Jake. It's the dog's cuddled up to him, Spider, his faithful pooch. And he's crawling through the mud. He's crawling to it's, get away from the pigs, and he gets into the, the little pumping shed and gets some water. This and is the oh, the, I can't, this, and he goes to the dog, go and get Sarah. It does a lassie, but goes, this is his quint moment from Jaws. Yeah. He's in the, the uh, pumping shed, and you hear, bah, and then oh, bah. it's going about, and the doors flapping open, and it's the little pigs trying to get in, and then it flaps open, and they're gone in the next minute. Holy giant fuck. fucking monster and now you get to see it a bit better don't you oh what a mouth and the second it's... star of the film mm-hmm. gets fucking killed yeah 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 you right. don't see it's not it's not too horrific there's noises yeah yeah oh, but not bastard. a way to go oh he gets and the, the well. fucking the rapey brothers fucking kill his dog they see and they the dog run it and they run it down the what? fucking cunts uh, uh, now I'm angry uh, at them the, the, no, the raping thing. the killing is one thing, but running over a dog, you fuck. Yeah, it's funny that. It's, yeah. it's, it's, the, the, the husband's just waiting for a bus. Is it wise to just have a bus stop, an uncovered bus shelter, no shelter, just a stop in the middle of the outback? You could get a heat stroke in 10 minutes. That's a good point. I, I'm really not sure of the rules. I, I saw the place falling apart and murder everywhere. I don't mm-hmm. think the council, whoever that was, was too concerned uh, about a bus shelter. The I tell you, this uh, another film has made me think of which people uh-huh. it's a very unknown film and I recommend it to everyone. It's called Long Weekend. It's an oh. Australian film as well, and it's it, like uh, a married couple, their relationship struggling, and they go for a romantic camping weekend. Okay, and it's kind of got elements of the birds about it. If you can find it, watch it. It's 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 along these lines. It's a beautiful. It's just a beautiful film as well. Oh, Similar excellent. kind of te- nature. Nature's taken a turn. Man has fucked up nature. It's a beautiful thing. Wonderful. I watched I'll it. Can I? Can the films used to be on really late on Channel Four? Yes. Yeah. And films which you'd no business watching as a ten-year-old or whatever, exactly, and you'd watch them, yeah. and you'd be like, "Holy!" F-. There'd always be boobs in them. Generally, uh-huh, yeah. a lot of French movies. Can I mean? Oh yeah. I'm with but you. that was one, and it's left a big impression in me. I'll have to watch it. Oh, so good. Sarah, they've discovered, they've discovered Jake's. Be, there'll be nothing left of the poor bastard. Oh, it's just chewed up. Uh, she wants to get a posse. She wants to sort it. And the husband sees the marks in the ground with the guy's fucking ma- uh, machete. He throws in. Yeah. Oh, oh, and suddenly he becomes macho. There's a there's a there's a, there's a, fl- a switch flicks in his head. And he just gets gung ho, and he's like, "I'm gonna fucking sort them up." You know what and I he think drives... happens? Yeah, yeah. What happens at this point? He realizes he's from the runaway world, and he's come yeah. to this world that'll be left behind. People are right. getting murdered left, right, and centre, including his wife, as he yeah. could, he could be. And 
what he's yeah. thinking, I can do the fuck what I want here, and nobody's yeah, he going can, to know. No, nobody's going to know. He he can day to day in his world. You see children being eaten by a a washing a robot washing machine that goes out of control. Exactly. But humans killing each other, he just it's, cannot believe it. It just doesn't happen. It but the primal happen. comes out. The primal. But I love it. He he, he crashes into the shark, and a guy comes running out. And he throw he's gonna kick his head in and shoot him, but he throws toilet roll at him. Yeah, that and it knocks him over, and then he he runs. He's he not runs practiced. The, put it that way. He's very new to no. this. It's his first day. And, and he hides down a uh, he hides down <laughs> he, he hides a down shaft. an opal bag. Yeah, and then he stabs him in the leg. Bad move because he's hanging there by a thread. He's not a violent man. He's no got a killer instinct. He can't bear to like can put like plunge you say, the it's guy his first in the day. Dark. It's his first yeah, day. Yeah. So yeah. he just walks away, but the cable st- goes on its own, and you hear him, the body dropped, he's dead. And those things are like a thousand foot deep. He'll never get out. Oh, he's, st- he's still falling, mate. He's still <laughs> falling. He'll be, able to f- he'll be able to finish his shite, but he won't be able to wipe his arse. Oh, God. But if you're falling and you shit, you have to remember oh. your shit's falling with you forever. So if well, you're it, falling they... down a hole forever, the one no, thing no. keeping your company is no, a no. joby. No, 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 the, no. The, um... Gravity works, his shit would go down, it would go faster. Is that how gravity works, does it? The sh- the shite would hit the ground before you did. I didn't realise I was in the company of a scientist. <laughs> you know, if you take a feather and a cannonball and drop them, they hit the ground at the exact same time. No, no, they don't. Well, and, what? Well, they don't. You have to be in a vacuum well, for I'll that have to happen. You know. <laughs> I'll have you know, I watched an episode of Tomorrow's World and, I, and Johnny Ball and clearly... Yeah, everyone's but, the same. Everyone's the same weight, man. Yeah, but it only works in a vacuum. It's all about it's all about feathers, molecules. Feathers are designed to catch air, so they will. With slow a whisper down. chocolate bar, fall faster than just a standard Cadbury's chocolate bar. They fall at the same time. But the whisper's full of air, so it's lighter. Yeah, but it's all to do with resistance. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, she gets the posse together, including yep. the camel. They've got the pig, and they go all gun, all armed to the teeth. And there's a lovely bit. They all think they've got it cornered, and they all jump over a mound. And it's just the little piglet stood there. Another jaws moment. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, just like when it was the two kids with the the shark yeah. thing. Yeah, same oh, thing. It's brilliant. And they're kind of then it's back to the factory. I love the this factory. factory. Oh, what a set! Oh, but it's just it's a proper set. Oh yeah, it's a proper because set. Because that was an and old can... uh, 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 abandoned place, and they went oh. in and done it all up and made it work and just oh, wonderful stuff. Because there's a factory in Anaconda, but it's not a, it's not a spot. It's not as good no, as this factory. It's, it's beautiful. Rubbish, yeah. The guys wearing like a the remaining brothers got a Davy Crockett hat on. Uh, the smoke, there's fake lightning at one stage. Yes, it's, there's it's like tink- setting there's, up. There's, there's tinkly piano music, <laughs> the tension. Great sound. Uh, I had a huge dicing machine that's lit uh, from below with a pinky red. <gasps> oh, oh, and he's but he, he knows he's he knows the game's up, but he does cool bits where he's sliding about on the yeah. dust, and then when he's trying to get away, he does a wee pirouette. It's a lovely wee bit he does. He's he's a good actor. He brings something he to goes, that role. But he goes, he he, he goes, he goes. I'm a, he's got him cornered. And he's pointing a gun at him. He goes, I'm a kangaroo, and he goes like a kangaroo. Yeah. You've got, and the guy makes him laugh hysterically. Laugh. He goes, you got a really good sense of humour. And then he goes, come on, man, shoot me. He's tired of it. His life is pretty shit. Living in like a, it's not a one cut. It's you a know one what it cave. Is? I think he always knew. A psycho or not, he always knew everything was going to catch up with him. So he accepts yeah, it. He accepts it. Yeah. And then, but, but he, he doesn't shoot him. The pig appears, he hears the noise. He oh. runs. And then there's a lovely bit. He falls into this bone ravine. pit. Yeah. Oh, a like ravine a... full of bones. Oh, it's... But he puts, he puts his headphones on because the noise of the pig's really getting to him. And there's no escape. When he's getting changed, I thought that was beautiful putting the headphones oh, on. Isn't it? Isn't but when it? he's That's running a nice from touch. it, he's trying to push it back. So this, uh, you get a oh, sense this thing is chasing them. It's there. And yeah. it's, oh, it's really oh, good. Oh. He and then almost it, gets it, out. It, and then he doesn't. He almost gets out. And then he doesn't. And then and he's, he's crunched. Fucking the noises. Bored. Oh. And then the, the husband's get, he's going to drive off, but manages to crash the car because he's a bit of an idiot. Well, the, this, uh, this didn't work for me because he just drives in a straight line and tips the car on car, his side. It yeah, doesn't make it. any sense. I'm a bit annoyed but at he, that. It, yeah, he's in, he pulls down the shutters, but that's no going to stop it. 
Oh, and it's just when it, it comes through the window. My the oh, pig, it comes through the window. Rah! Oh, it's but great. It's, it's it's so angry that pig. It's not just about eating. It's hate. It yeah. hates people. But see, what right. she's what? Yeah. And she's in yeah. the factory as well, but she runs away getting chased by the pig. She's gone. Aye. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, you think, oh, no, she's dead. Everyone's getting uh, it. Grat- There's a funny bit where he jumps out of his way, but it's a hot steam pipe, and he burns his hands. He burns yeah. his hands. Hey, you bastard! Yeah, <laughs> that's hot. So what What weapon of choice can take this animal on? What weapon in this place of hooks and knives and a terrible killing machines? What does he pick up, pick up to take on this animal? A fucking shovel. <laughs> so he, he, he starts whacking it. He, but he managed to. He manages to. Have you ever stab been hit it. by a? Have you ever been hit by a shovel? Yes, twice. Well, it's no, but it's, that's an old said it was teaching me. That's good. Was it a hot shovel? Because <laughs> you're like hot shit off a shovel. Oh, I see what no, you did there. Shit off a hot shovel. Shit yeah. off a hot shovel. The, but he gets a spear, and it's an old, an old Maasai warrior trick when they're hunting a. Lions, you get That's the lion right. to run at you, and then you lie, and the lion impales itself. So he, he gets it right in there, get yeah. right in there. No, into its soft underbelly oh, and makes no fucking difference. It's squirting That's out, just annoys it doesn't bother. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, the um, this everything is a great, but everything's starting to spark. The whole systems, now, the, the it, machinery, and the they showed earlier oh. that you have to turn the dial or the the factory will explode. <laughs> And everyone's shaking and it's getting louder. And I think this is uh, uh, taken from the scene in The Godfather Part 2 when uh, uh, Pacino goes to kill the guy for the first time. He's going to kill him. And the the train sounds building, building, building the noise. But it's not a train, it's his mind. And this is the factory, this is the fear that's representing. And it's getting chaotic. Yeah, it's building and building. Oh, this is the 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 economy of flesh and blood. It's like machinery and flesh and flesh and And, rust. And then he gets it. Can I? It end up on the conveyor belt, and the pigs coming after him. Like well, the pig doesn't come after him, but he says, "Oh, "Oh, you you stink! (laughs) Kiss my arse, you dickhead!" And it's really mild swearing at the pig, and the pig goes, "What the fuck did you just call me?" Gets up on the conveyor belt. But it's oh. like the scene in the Indiana Jones with Bomber Pat Roach in like Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. He gets oh, yeah. caught up in the machinery. That's and it. And the, pigs, like, the big, the big blade thing, and it's chup, 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 and it's chup, all chup, getting... chup, and all the chunks this will surprise fire you. Up. Yeah, this is how they make every sausage. This process. Oh, is this how it's done? This is how it's done. Oh. You have to lure a large pig onto a thing and shred it. Every sausage anybody's ever eaten. This has happened. And then you just go to the pig, oh, you totally are f- run funny. And then the pig will run into the dicer itself. Amazing. Just runs into the bit. I'm learning. But when that, when that pig got shredded, yeah. there'll be bits of Jake will be flying about. There'll oh, be bits of his point. wife. The, oh, it'll oh. be, ma- imagine if imagine if the fetus had just come flying out and landed in his lap. Oh, God. And just went, just went Daddy? Daddy? And then you go, <laughs> go uh, but then again, he didn't want to be a dad. So he'd just go, I'll throw it back oh. in. And the problem back, yeah. solved. That's what Sorry. dicers are for. <laughs> he, he he goes looking for Sarah, and she the the tension's just been so much. She just fainted. She fainted and got herself caught in a chain from the roof. Yeah, she, she so he's hugging her again. And she wakes it. up. Uh, she wakes alive. up, and she goes, and, "Daddy!" And she goes, <laughs> Daddy? And "He's got a new wife," and she's yeah. And she's going, God. She it's, she comes to it. She, she comes to in his arms. And now this is the end of the film. And it's and just sudden. It's Oof. just sudden. But I put, you've been razor-backed. Oh, you've been razor-backed. What a film. Brilliant. What brilliant, a fucking brilliant, film. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I loved it. Yeah, really good. Just just a, 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 a like schlock, but just on a different level. Cinematography. Some, sound cinematography, design. Cinematography. Nine out of ten guffs. Nine, yeah, nine out of ten. Script. Mate. Nom, nom, um, nom, nom. But yeah, the no, rest but didn't matter. But just, just the atmosphere, just everything about it. It was a pungent film. You could almost smell the bloody thing. It was so good. The um, who are you? Well, who am mm. I? I know who I'd be. You're one of the brothers. I'm not saying you're a rapist, oh. but you have a way of moving. <laughs> I I thought I would be Sarah because I would love oh, a radar Sarah. in uh-huh. my living room, and I'm attracted uh-huh. to widows. No, she showers. Oh, right, can't be her. I'm one of the killer Come brothers. You the, would what, be... An amalgam of them both. Who am I going to be? Let's hear this. You yet. are Jake, a man obsessed, uh-huh. and I imagine the only thing that could kill you hey, is mate, a giant I... mutant pig. 
to be honest with you, I do hold a grudge. Oh, fuck. Do you hold a grudge? I've if never I met pu- anyone if, like if it. I, if, I, if a fucking pig did anything to me, I'm telling you, I would not forgive it. God. I, I, your grudges are almost a thing of legend. And I think people think, listening to this, that we put it on, how no, bad your no, grudges just, are. No. No, it's a brutal. I can never the, uh, annoy you well, or Andrew, fall out with you. Andrew, I'm, I'm waiting. My, I'm biding my time for Andrew. Oh God! The, um, but the 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 I had a fall out with my neighbour's cat, and <sighs> him, him and I were toe to toe for a long time till my old cat he killed him. Oh Jesus Christ! He killed him, killed him. <laughs> Fucking hell! But how the, many yeah, because it, it used to shit on my oh. What are you saying? How many guffs? How many guffs? Come on, let's hear it. Oh, I said I said nine as well. Did you say I, I nine as well? Enthu- oh, yeah, it's, I'm, as, I'm as enthusiastic as you are, and it's really put me in the mood to watch more of these Australian films. I watched Agreed. Mad Max two. I watched Mad Max and Mad Max two quite recently, and they have got a certain splendour about them as well. I think but Mad Max long two we- is something long magical. Weekend, a film and an even more stratosphere of kind of goodness. You've uh-huh. got a, the the um, the uh, walkabout with Jenny Agatha. Oh yeah, oh, that yeah, film. That the good. bit with the dad. Oh my oh, lord! It's a, and then the, it's the a film. what's the one the, the hanging rock one with the kids, the oh, yeah. lasses. Oh Jesus Christ! Film. That's a yeah. Australia f- fights a p- pound for pound. Is un- made some incredible. I wish Scotland had a film industry as good as, it, as good as the Aussies. What films have we made? There's only been a couple. Really restless, really restless natives. I'd say restless natives is the best film that ever came the out. Ma- of Scotland. There's a film called The Maggie, which is just stupendously good. Oh, I don't know that. Uh, the Maggie, yeah, it's a black and white film. It's about, a, yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, the, yeah, a lot of films can be too coothy for Scotland. And I don't, I don't yeah, like. Yeah, I don't uh, like the tweeness. Uh, no, I don't like tweeness. I quite like, to be honest, a uh, uh, local hero. I enjoy. I didn't enjoy that. But yeah, it's got Fool and Mackay in it, man. You've got to enjoy a bit of Fool and Mackay. Oh, that's true. But um, hey, as far as yeah, we should be making we more. We should be doing it. Horror films, more because Scotland's built for it, man. The, the landscapes. I, I'd love to see a good. Can I'm joking. I say a horror movie in Dundee would be fucking brilliant. There's some great venues in Dundee. Of course, I totally agree with it. I think everything is here. It's just I've always thought oh. the Observatory in Dundee. Oh, the observatory at the top a of the hill. You could, you building. could, you, you could, you could fucking, you could. That's a defendable position. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> is that the way you look at all buildings? Defendable. All buildings. Can one. I defend yeah. this? Because my house is on the top of a brae, and I like it because I think I could get some bamboo and I could put some punji sticks. Punji sticks. Pits. Yeah, in the back of my house, I've made a, I've made a hedge. A spiky hedge to stop. I'm, I'm, this, this, I'm def- this is defendable, mate. Defendable. Actually, across the road from you, there is a, a, a version of punji sticks all down that street with all the syringes you have to kick out your way in the morning. <laughs> the, the syringes, yeah. yeah. I've not seen, no, the, the, the main dealer died. A couple of dealers died. So, uh, yeah, it's thinned out. There's no so many junkies going about up this end of town. Oh, that's wonderful. That's good. That's a good thing. That's a good no, thing. No, wonderful. Wonderful it's, film. It's, Highly it's, recommended. Yeah, a, a wonderful, wonderful film. And I, I, you know something? I'll watch it again quite soon. You know what? I That is not a joke. I'm going to start looking for an HD or a better version than there was on YouTube. Yeah. Or to watch I think it, there's an I watch it in a cinema. Yeah, to watch is there an edited version? Well, the what, edited one out? is the one we watched on YouTube. The unedited, oh. there's, it was. I think the only version left that was taken from a VHS, and you get it oh. in Australian Blu-ray. And I'm going to oh. look for it. I'm going to try and, what, and get it. What's the additional stuff? I have no what? idea. I have no oh. idea. Oh. So well, I, I want was, to look into. I was it. listening to a podcast recently about the Fury Road. Yeah, but. Uh, Obviously, this, to watch that in black and white is stupendous. I mean, so it was, good. that film was designed as black and white and oh. silent. And I'm like, yes, oh. it could oh. be. It's glorious, yeah. glorious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, that, that, that was very Wonderful. Good. Oh, I had a great yeah. time watching it last night. Oh. Yeah. Again, I'd done one of those things where I left it a bit late to watch. and went, oh, God, this is going to... I was thrilled. Oh, yeah. I was, I was thrilled, thrilled. and was, I enjoyed it. I highly yeah, recommend I'd it. I'd love to get my hands on one of the original posters. <gasps> the, honestly, the only poster that sticks in my mind from being a kid. Well, no, there's mm-hmm. two I remember: Phantasm mm-hmm. oh, and yes. uh, uh, Razorback. Because Razorback, the guys with the what gun. What a title! What a title! Razorback. Well, they made a. <clears throat> they kind of did a kind of 
unofficial follow-up called Boar. Right. Recently. And it's got it's an Australian film as well. And it's worth a kind of look, but it's it's not not a patch in this. I think to follow a... Razor back up, you would have to do Fury Road quality. You would have to do something yeah. that <clears throat> major yeah. and wonderful. To, yeah. because it would deserve it. Every actor in it, the director, everyone deserves every accolade they could get well, for see, it because it's wonderful. Well, well, there are feral pigs in this. Country. What a, an interesting fact about pigs is, I think it's called a sounder, a group of pigs. Okay. And there are, there's a matriarch, a big female pig that's in charge and it has the... Blah, 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 and they'll go out and they'll shoot a pig to keep the numbers down. Right. But when you shoot, they'll shoot the big female that's in charge. But that has a... It has opposite effect to what you're expecting. All the pigs within that group split up and form other sounders oh, and reproduce because they're very, very productive pigs. Lo- if you had a three-hour orgasm, you would have be having sex all the time. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Get, no? My legs... We've talked about this before. When I uh, get to that moment, would, my legs shoot out no. straight. I wouldn't be able to walk to the shops. Would you knock your kneecaps off? I would have to do something. And has a pig not got a wee corkscrew penis as well? They do. Yeah, but just you like know, yourself. Do you, it's exactly the Hold same. Hold on, do you know you're, not, you're not the brothers, you're the fucking I'm the pig. I'm the pig. <laughs> do, you, do you know a pig's tail, how it's curly, uh, you can straighten uh, it by uh-huh. putting your finger on its spine and running it along the back and the, the tail uh, will go straight. Maybe that's all that poor bloody razor bat was wanting. Just if somebody on showed it a little bit of attention, a bit of love, it would have been just like a lamb. Oh, that's oh, made me instead, sad. Did now. you shoot at it all the time? It's so sad. No wonder it's angry. Maybe it's just got a little splinter in its paw. Oh, no one stopped to check. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, on that depressing All note, the best, people. Wash your piggy balls. Wash your, Wash pig your balls. piggy balls. Your curly balls. Your kangaroo balls. <laughs> your kangaroo balls. Later. Ta-da. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da.